Singapore is all about immersion. Whether you're indulging in the Infinity Pool on the 21st floor of the sustainable and spectacular Oasia Hotel downtown, or gazing from your window on the world and planning a multicultural journey. Singapore has always thrived by welcoming the world. Many different peoples have made their homes here with a mosaic of heritage you'd be hard pressed to find anywhere else. Join me as I explore their contributions to this remarkable city-state. Waterloo Street in the central area is one of Singapore's oldest and most colourful streets with Hindu and Buddhist temples, an imposing synagogue and the Catholic Church of Saints Peter and Paul. One of my favourite districts is Ju Chiat, where you swap high-rises for colourful early 20th century two-storey shop houses, a glimpse of Singapore's past. Mm lemongrass and ginger. I'm at Ruma Bebe, meaning House of Bebe. It's a heritage boutique and restaurant celebrating Peranakan culture of locally born Singaporeans and their cuisine. No, it's not all for me. Annoyingly, the crew insists on eating too. This is my first experience of Bua Ke Luak, a nut where you Take the inside out. Mmm. Very rich, very dark, very tasty. Peranakan culture is championed by Alvin Yap, who's turned his home into an alluring museum known as Intan. The collection of artifacts is open by appointment to delight and enlighten visitors. Welcome to my home. <laughs> my name is Alvin. I live here. It's also a museum. And I've been running this uh, whole museum, which sometimes people call it an accidental museum, for the last 20 years. Eh? Peranakans, we wear many hats, you know. At home, we become very um, Malay. We wear batik, we wear saro, we eat with our hands, we speak Baba Malay. But when we go to work, we put on a Chinese uh, jacket, we switch very easily, very much like a typical modern day Singaporean. Another cultural highlight, but one that's open 365 days a year. Housed in the historic Empress Place building beside the Singapore River is the Asian Civilizations Museum. Senior curator Nura Bint Zul Kifli. A lot of elements or characteristics that we've assigned to the contemporary age, such as globalisation, actually started a really long time ago. Uh, in the trade gallery, we have uh, you know, the shipwreck finds uh, dating back to the 9th century that highlights the really long exchange and trade route between China and the Middle East. So this region has been phenomenally important for um, you know, cross-cultural interactions since many, many centuries ago. One of my favourite and most photogenic streets anywhere in the world, Haji Lane. The spectacular street art is just one dimension of Kampong Galam, Singapore's historic Arab quarter. A short walk away, Tekka Market at the heart of Little India, always colourful and vibrant. You can't ignore the British dimension. Sir Thomas Stamford Bingley Raffles arrived here in 1819 and vowed to turn a sparsely populated location at the tail end of Southeast Asia into an economic powerhouse. Singapore shows how a nation can thrive through diversity and celebrates the enrichment that each culture brings. Visit Singapore Meet the world. <laughs>